Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered and licensed dietitian. Now, if you've gotten your BMI, you might be wondering, how can I calculate my body fat percentage from my BMI reading? Well, unfortunately, these two numbers don't necessarily coincide. The BMI is really a ratio as far as how much weight your frame or height is carrying. Body fat percentage is really a multitude of com combinations as far as calculation-wise. There's no direct math equation that you can plug numbers into to find a body fat percentage, but there are different techniques. You can see a professional who has been trained to do the body fat skin fold caliber test, and they take a couple different measurements and then plug those numbers into an equation. Or you can do a bioelectrical impedance test that sends a little bit of an electrode through your body. The more lean muscle mass you have, typically the better the electrode will conduct and therefore gives a certain percentage which then evaluates your body fat percent as well. You can also maybe spend some big money and get the um, water ratio or water displacement test which really is the best form and is what we consider the gold standard if you will. Now one calculation I can help you figure out and that really is a good predictor of health risk is your BMI or body mass index. Now this is a range again of how much weight that your height is carrying and really can help us to predict or categorize our risk for health or chronic diseases. The higher your BMI, typically the higher risk. And there is a certain level as well, dropping below a level or a reading, excuse me, a number of 18 also has been proven for decreased health. So I'm going to show you an example here. This is kind of what I consider the cheater version by not having to use or, excuse me, convert the standard forms of height and weight to metric. So I'm going to use my weight in pounds and my height in inches. Now again, this is kind of an easy way to do it, but it gives a correct reading. So I weigh 140 pounds. I'm going to multiply that by 703. Divide that by my height, which is 64, and 6 squared, pretty much. This is exactly what I'm going to punch into my calculator. So I have 140 times 703 equals, well, a big 98,000 number, divided by 64, divided by 64 equals 24. My BMI equals 24. Now a healthy range is anywhere between 18 and 25. Now if you hit over 25, you're considered in the overweight range, and above 30, you're considered obese. Now again, any small change in BMI really significantly can improve your health risk. So say for instance, you were in the obese category and you're looking to lose weight, and your overall goal is that just to at least get into the uh, overweight range, or eventually into a healthy range. Even if you've gone from 30 to 29, your health risks or risk for health has significantly improved, meaning you're not nearly as, as much risk as you were before. Now again, this is the equation for BMI, not body fat percentage, but check in with a um, trained professional if you're interested in that body fat percent ratio. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.